I think the Blackhawks have a really good, strong sense of what they're looking for. The most unique thing about this draft is how many top-end mobile defensemen there are. Adam Boakfist, Quinn Hughes, Evan Bouchard, uh, Noah Dobson. This is a great year to have a top 10 pick. Oliver Wallstrom. NHL caliber shot. I think might be in the best shot in the draft class. Brady Kachuk fall far enough. This is a time where it's a lot of fun for Chicago scouts. Whoever they get will be the number one prospect in their system without a doubt in my mind. I think draft day will be a good one for the Blackhawks. Essential Scouting has been around for a number of years, and it's, it's a group of uh, scouts that go out. They're sort of working for the NHL. They cover all the players that are available for the draft, and they come out with a ranking on who they believe are the top prospects. The Swedish defenseman who the Sabres have set to draft first overall. He's a franchise changer. There's a lot of off-season buzz They're getting about that generational draft player. Prospects. He continues to turn heads. He's a number one defenseman. He's a clear-cut number one defenseman. At 20 points. Played in the Olympic Games, turned down uh, the under-18 tournament because he wanted to rest and uh, probably get started to get ready for uh, trying to be in the NHL next year. There's certainly a belief in an expectation that he's going to go in and offer a franchise. You have Boquist coming from Sweden, who is a high-skill, puck mover, offensively gifted defenseman. Boquist, go ahead. I just think this guy's the jack of all trades. I think he passes the puck really well. He sees the ice real well. He's got a ton of moxie to his game. He can shoot the puck, gets it through traffic. You can win with this kind of player from the back end. What do you know about the uh, Chicago Blackhawks? Lots of Swedish defensemen. Yeah. Yeah. And I know... Too many? <laughs> no. no. And I know you have the great 88. If uh, we have some people in this room who've never seen you play, yeah. uh, give me a NHL defenseman that you have a similar style to. Uh, yeah, I like to watch Eric Carlson. Yeah. But yeah, I think he's yeah, much better than me. I hope I can be that good one day. You have Kokkinemi coming out of Finland, who is a six foot three, strong skating center iceman. They're always very attractive. Asad, the coach is going to be uh, my dad. How is that relationship playing for your dad? Uh, of course, we have sometimes funny moments there, but uh. do you go to the games? With your, do you ride with your father to the games? Yeah. <laughs> so, so when you're riding to the game, are you riding with your father? or your coach? Uh, that's a hard question. No, I know it, but it's like... Uh, I, I, I think with my dad. Coming home for the game, did you feel like he was your father or your coach? Uh, father. Father, yeah. okay. I think at worst he's going to be a second line center. He's impactful offensively. He takes big face-offs. He makes the game easy for his line mates. I think his game is very mature for his age, and I think that's, you know, it's going to make him play in the league for a long time. You have Svechnikov, extremely skilled Russian forward who played at Barry. I have 40 goals, real good skill, good kid, coaches liked him, teammates liked him. He was the rookie of the year in the OHL this year. And you played with uh, Denisenko? Mm -hmm. Was that the first time playing with him? No, we played in Canada, U17. Okay, so you have a little history there. Yeah, right. You like playing with him? Yeah, right. You guys had that... Good chemistry. Yeah, that one time we're going back and forth. He, you'd <laughs> Sometimes. Set, you set him up and then he had to set you up. It was like, it was yeah. good. Uh, did you have a favorite NHL team growing up? Growing up, uh, I play for Chicago every time. And uh, video oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Make, sure you, make sure you tell everyone that. Yeah, right? okay, and uh -huh. because tapes every time being face up, you know. Aha, uh aha. -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have Brady Dechuk at Boston University, who just plays a, uh, you know, he has a great presence in that offensive zone in front of the net. Big left winger, gets to the net, competitive, pain in the ass. Guys hate to play against him, teammates love him. He can play with skill guys. He creates space for skill guys. And I, I think he can play in all situations, play with anybody in the 12. And he's going to be in all those key situations, up a goal, down a goal. Um, 
his drive and his play around the net is. I mean, his best part of his game is in confrontations. For sure. Do you talk to your brother much about this whole draft process? A little bit. Yeah. I mean, not, not much. Did he give you any good advice, or was he... Yeah, said, don't, don't, don't sound like a rockhead. That's, yeah. that's that was his advice? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Okay. What team does your mother want you to go to? I mean, she's got a plan. She says, Taryn goes to Northwestern, I go to Chicago, and, and the whole family's happy. It's a four-hour drive, so that's her plan. How about Dad? Dad? Dad's working with St. Louis. Yeah, I mean, that'll be a little bit of a rivalry in the house, but I think he'd be okay with it. You have Zadina coming from Halifax, who's a gifted goal scorer. You know, we're trying to figure out who's going to take him. He shoots the puck. He scores. He's involved. He makes plays. Sees the play. You had 36 penalties minutes this year. Any fights? No. No. Have you ever had a fight in hockey? No. No. Okay. Everybody's um, cared about me, so. What's that? They are afraid about me. They're afraid of you. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've heard. We've heard. Uh, <laughs> Next year, where are you going to play? NHL. NHL. Okay. If you don't play in the NHL, where would you play? It depends what team is going to draft me and if yeah. they will say me, like, if they will tell me, like, uh, put you like to KMJHL or AHL or back to Europe, so. Right. You have Evan Bouchard coming out of London. Very, very gifted putt mover, shooter. Great presence on that offensive blue line. He's a quiet kid, respectful kid. He's not a boisterous, loud personality, but he's, he's likable. Yeah. Um, good athlete. If I had never seen you play, can you give me a uh, NHL comparable player? Play um, the same way. Plays the same way, I'd say John Carlson. Vision on the ice, uh, puck moving, make a, make a good first play, jump up in the play as well as my shot. Yeah. Are you a shooter or a passer? I think shooter. Okay. Up in Canada, we have uh, Noah Dobson, Arcadia Bathurst. They won the Memorial Cup right there. That tells us you know, how competitive he's a winner. Uh, you had a busy couple of months. Yeah. But a good couple of months. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it when winning two championships. Yeah. I'll be as busy as, as you want, I guess. Yeah, there was, uh, you know, they made a lot of moves. Yeah. And uh, they worked out. Yeah. That was good. I think if you look at the start of the season, November, I think we were in 14th place and then yeah. kind of made some moves and got the guys we need and everyone started gelling. But, but even right after the moves, it did, you didn't just. You didn't jump off. No, you kinda... yeah, it's kind of slowly progressed. Guys yeah. got more comfortable in the systems and stuff, and kind of gelled at the right time and clicked. Great mobility for for a big guy. He moves really well. He closes his gap. He plays big minutes for his team. He's got a great shot, and um, like I said, he's just a go-to defenseman right now at 17 for uh, their team. In the USA, you have uh, Quinn Hughes. Played with the national development team, University of Michigan this year. An elite skater. Uh, every time he's on the ice, he has the puck. Something seems to happen. If I went to Michigan, I'd try to win the Hogue Baker and, and win a national championship and do everything I can. At the Worlds, uh, who was your locker next year? We had two locker rooms. At the start, it was Kane. He was unbelievable to me. What did he tell you? I told him, try to get me drafted to the Hawks. <laughs> That's basically what I told him. He said, yeah, I'm trying. Oliver Wallstrom played for the U.S. National Development Team. He is as pure a goal scorer as there is in the draft. I mean, he's on the ice. You can watch him. Something's going to happen. There's a lot of talk in the Cobb and Zadina. Do you feel you should be in that same discussion and you should be in that 2-3-4 uh, discussion? Yeah, I mean, I feel you know, I'm right up with those guys. You know, if you look at how I produce this year, I'm, you know, I'm right up with them. And, uh, you know, yeah, they're awesome players. They're tremendous guys. And you know, I'm excited for this draft to see, you know, where I end up. Is there an NHL player you model through shot after? Can you take inspiration from? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Patrick Laine. You know, I like him a lot. I think we have similar release points. And you know, my childhood here is Alex Ovechkin, so I grew up watching him all the time. So, you know, those two players are my favorite. Who shoots the puck better in this draft? Better than Wallstrom. Than Wallstrom. Uh, I have no one for me. I mean, there's not a lot of guys that had 40, goal, 40 plus goals this year. He had them. Sebastian had 40. What did he have? Medina had 40. Top six. Yes. Right now, what we're really doing is we're trying now to process everything we've learned in Buffalo, both from uh, interviewing the kids, spending some time with them uh, in the interview room. Favorite player, power player, or PK? I don't think we're looking to put a finish line on it. Um, the finish line will be the day of the draft. <laughs>